All right, last day in Canada today, which I know sounds like it's a sad thing, but it's probably for the best because look at this. We've got an actual roll of fat. <laughs> look at that. Still, there's work to be done. One more food challenge to go. So um, yeah, hope it's a good one. I think this is the place. Johnny's restaurant. What the heck? This place is next to a laundromat. Is that normal? We have like a burger and you can win a t-shirt if you finish it? Yes, yes. Is that true? Yes, it is. Are you guys the second uh, dose? Yeah, there's both those are on there, so that's the first one. Okay, two of two. Don't swipe too far, you might see like naked pictures. I'm, I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, so I'm at a place called Johnny's Eatery today. I'm about to take on there. Hungry Man Burger Challenge. I haven't seen any evidence that anyone has actually finished this yet, but I will ask him. It doesn't look too big. We'll see. Oh, gotta finish strong. No fails on this trip. It's pretty close to failing on that breakfast challenge though. That was rough. People always ask me why I use so many cameras. Got some production value, you know. Three angle setup, sitting on the shower. Should be a piece of cake, I think. Could I get another glass of water? Uh, water? Water? Yeah. Yeah. I don't actually know if there's a time limit. We should probably find out. I'm just talking to myself. No, don't mind me. Like, that's a video machine, eh? I'm gonna get started okay. then. Okay, good luck. You got Thank two you. Cameras there, right? Uh, well, I, technically I have three. I don't know where the other one is, but um, uh, yeah, two. Spared no expense, like John Hammond said. You do, you do videos all the time, do you? Pretty much, yeah. Oh, thank you. Too much, you might say. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. It is wonderful. What's up, Benami? Welcome back to another episode. In fact, the final episode in this sort of Canadian mini series. I had a lot of fun filming this eight part series, so I really hope that you enjoyed it. But, you know, equally, if you didn't, feel free to let me know in the comments. <laughs> <coughs> I don't know if you just heard that, but the owner said to the waitress, you have family in England, right? Do you think they've heard of him? <laughs> like we all live in the same place. <laughs> yeah, it's still the case that people out here think we all talk like Hugh Grant and we're on first name terms with the royal family. I don't know, maybe they would have heard of it. <laughs> More Canadian bacon. Uh, yeah, seems poignant that would eat Canadian bacon in the last episode of the series. But anyway, this is Johnny's Hungry Man Challenge, which, as you could probably tell, is not too much of a challenge, but it's still a lot of fun. The burger patties have a little green in there. They definitely taste different. It's kind of a herby taste. Are these like regular beef burgers or is this? Yeah, they're normal beef burgers. Do they have like a little. Uh, they're green in them, they taste kind of spicy, not spicy, but um, they're nice. Yeah, no, they're good. It's just all right, maybe it's like some onions or oregano or something. <laughs> oh, oregano to be more correct. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because it's true, anyway. Yeah, this is the uh. The, the Hungry Man Burger Challenge, and these burgers were fantastic. I don't know what it was about them. They were kind of herby to the point that I almost thought uh, that maybe these are like lamb burgers or something. They weren't, they were beef burgers, but um, they were they were juicy and had a really unique taste to them, which I enjoyed uh, so much so that you know, I'm, I'm almost done with the burger already. All right, burger done. Just got the fries to go. Yeah, always with the fries. Fortunately, not too many of them, probably not even a pound here, and they were pretty fluffy, so not too tricky to eat. A lot like the, uh, the challenge itself, in fact, not too tricky. So if you're in the area, I would recommend this one because uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. You get a free t-shirt, which is pretty cool, and you get a free meal, although you can't redeem it. They give you a voucher and you have to redeem it at a later date. 
and it has to be from the breakfast menu for some reason. Don't know why, but that's the way it is. This is why it makes me laugh when people say, oh, the food challenges in England, they're just like a regular meal in America or Canada. If anything, I think the food challenges in England are probably bigger. For sure, there are some really big ones across the world, but there's no real difference though, on average. Yeah, it's a myth, a social construct. Don't believe it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll catch you for the next one. I genuinely do not know how anyone would fail that. That was easier than the, the one at Marty Moose. Piece of cake. is freaking out. It wasn't even that quick. <coughs> the, the owner's having a, an argument with a, a truck driver about some delivery though. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna give you two shirts. I'll be going back to England with a whole new wardrobe. I've, I've got so many t-shirts so, now. <laughs> you know what? So we'll give that electric green and then give him that blue one. I'll try some coconut cream pie. That sounds delicious. Yeah, it is. It is. You like that. Yeah, I'll try that. So, I'm gonna give you one. There's two shots. Okay, okay two thank shots. you. No problem. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Oh, this looks yummy. That's almost as big as a burger was. It tastes like a, a tunnock's tea cake without the chocolate on top. That's weird. You might say that was almost too easy. Like taking t-shirts from a baby. This might actually be the, the shortest video ever to be uploaded to my channel, unless... I heard there's a place actually around here which does um, bacon poutine deep fried and wrapped in bacon. Would it be wrong to give that a try? Probably, but I think I'm gonna... I've been caught out here. There's nothing wrong with a little bit of baby metal. All right, this is a place. And uh, I have to say that looks absolutely heinous. Still, I've got to try some. Hi, um, can I just for bacon wrapped protein? Thanks, lads. I mean, dudes. Does this taste any good? It does taste good. All right, I got the bacon wrapped protein. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be piping hot though. So I'm gonna drive back to the hotel, give it a try there. Feels a little soggy. Still pretty warm though. <laughs> All right, this is beer mixed food. That was a trip to Canada, and this, this is deep fried bacon wrapped poutine. <laughs> no. Right, let's get some flipping Mayday Parade on. Yeah, I said it.